what is going on guys welcome once again my name is amit rai and i am here with a new tutorial on sql language so as you might see i have already opened up local host on my laptop and that is basically xamp and uh, also i have opened up the php my admin page and as you can see i have already exported one of the databases and uh, the sql file for that is over here so what i wanted was to export a database from my local host to the online sql database so as i tried to import it i met with an error and uh, after doing a, some of the research work i found out that the error that is generated unknown character set utf 8 mb4 this error generally occurs when you are trying to import that sql which you have exported from a higher version of my sql software so you might see i have already installed the latest version of xamp which provides me with the latest version of the php as well as my sql and other languages software so this is creating some problem and the sql server that i am i am using online is just 5.1 So basically, what I need to do is click on the back button and click on SQL. Now this is the page where I can insert a query, and the table and the data will be inserted accordingly. So you can open this MySQL uh, backup file by right-clicking and edit with Notepad plus plus, and it will appear in readable format. Now, guys. all you can do is just copy it like that and uh, paste it over here and you can see by clicking on just go button the table is created successfully feedback with all the uh, types and uh, properties that you have set up on the local server so next thing you can do is if you want to restore your data also you can just select and drag it till two or three lines and make sure the data does not exceed the limit of mysql so you need to do it gradually and slowly click on sql control a control v and put a semicolon and basically that is it you can click on go and the data has been inserted successfully that's it guys open it once again copy the whole thing come over here and remember the last entry that you have made and click on sql once again control a control v and uh, the last entry was up to 8 so we can remove those entries and the others entry other entries will be inserted below it So just by selecting it, I remove the other entries, and when I click on Go, the remaining entries get inserted successfully, and we can check it by clicking on uh, Browse. And these are the entries that we made that we needed to backup and from the local server and restore it on the online server. So that is all, guys, for now. if you find something weird or unexplainable just comment it down below and i will remove your errors in the next video thank you guys have a nice day